Come get your papers. Learn all about the world. Come get your copy of the Trinitonian. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm I'm pretty bored. So yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I, oh, I'm not this bored though. Oh. Okay. Well. All right, I'll, I'll read some, I'll read some. Oh! I missed a concert last night. Okay, darn, all right. Oh, okay, they're making a live action Zelda movie? Oh, I'm, I'm both horrified and intrigued. <laughs> Imagine Timothy Chalamet as Link. Hoo hoo! Good grief! That cat picture was way too cute. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's go with this. Oh, oh, Jesus. Uh, they, uh, good one. FCC shut down TU Communication Department over being 100% run by AI. <laughs> I mean, I, I know AI is probably going to reach the singularity where it will eventually gain sentience and probably wipe out the human race. But until then, who in their right mind lets AI run a whole department through? Like, which university was it again? Hold on, hold on. Trinity University. Oh, God, not again. All right, you ready to do this? You ready do, to do this? Do what? I'm ready to debate because this is real. Because we've received worms that the Tiger TV comms might be shutting down. This obviously will not do. Tiger TV comms department as a whole does a lot of things right. One of which is teaching students about the value of debating. Debating? Yes, that's right. I'm representing all of Trinity University. We even have our own judge today. Okay, they seem like a lot of fun. Uh, okay, um, I guess I'll represent everyone else then. Good luck. I'm representing the students at Trinity University, all right? The backpackers, the coffee drinkers, the people that wear t-shirts with American flags on them. To, where, to remind you of where you're currently living. The theater kids, the geeks, the painting kids, people who wear Jesus t-shirts to remind you what religion they believe in. Introverts, extroverts, ambiverts who are just like extroverts who like to be alone sometime. Nerds, photographers, our allegedly award-winning newspaper. And of course, people who wear t-shirts with American flags and with Jesus on them to remind everyone we're in Texas. Okay, well, I don't know much about Texas. I'm actually from Milwaukee, North Dakota, so. Huh. Yeah. Well, before this shoot uh, began, me and my co-compatriot were given a, a prompt, a task, a position to research. We've looked over the evidence, we've analyzed it, we've realized our original argument was not very good, we tried rewriting it, it didn't look very great, we cried, and then we rewrote it again. That sounds like a lot of work, man. I just got ChatGPT to write my argument. Oh. Well, now, should we begin? Wait, how, hold on. There's a few upkeep matters that I think we have to address. Oh, uh, sure. What are they? Um, well, let me ask the judge real quick. Ask the judge real quick. What is going on? Are, are you guys conspiring? Are you guys conspiring against me? I don't think that word means what you think it means. Okay, anyway, so if you want oh, I've got a $20 wow. bill in my pocket. I really it sounds like it. it. You know, all right, my romantic partner recently left me, all right? They, they left me, it was very bad, and they called me a lot of things. They called me a little baby. They called me a Kringle. They called me a little boy, a, a baby man, baby man two. Baby Man 3, they called me uh, the table boy. They called me 
not the man. They called me a lot of things, and none of them were good. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, we were going to debate over the death penalty, right? Um, you ready? Yes. 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 We'll, we'll each have a, a few minutes to open our argument, and then we'll have ten minutes to get to the real meat of the argument. And then just a few minutes at the end to close our argument. Just like how my romantic partner closed our relationship because they found someone who was more professional. Are you, you okay? Look, man, we don't have to do this debate right now. I don't, no, 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 no. It's, it's fine, let's just, let's just begin, all right? Let's get settled in here. Okay, well. Let's try and shake, uh, uh, let's do, um. Do you have Tourette's or something? What? No, let, come on, no. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's just begin. Let's just begin. The, the death penalty is bad. It's cringe. Game ending people is wrong. It is not cool. I rest my case. <laughs> well, people of the jury, on the contrary, the death penalty, actually pretty cool. Game ending people, I mean, they aren't good people, right? So, you know, the actual amount of bad in the world decreases. It's a net positive for goodness, right? And all of you can put me on the record for saying exactly that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come to play. Now that we've finished our opening arguments, we can start with the meat of this debate. In this section, we're each going to ask each other some questions. Questions. However, it is important and it requires us to be civil throughout this matter. We have to treat each right. other with respect. Civil. Okay. Alright. Oh. Alright. Well now that that's over and out of the way and out of our systems. Let's start. Why do you think that the death penalty is bad, as you say? Well, I think it's a bad idea because it hurts people. I would agree with you, honestly. I think it's a compelling argument, but I actually don't agree with you, okay? Listen, the death penalty is freaking radical, okay? Because game-ending people is freaking awesome, okay? Have you ever played a, a, a tiny little game, kind of underground, you may not what? have heard of it, Call of Duty? Call of Duty? No. <laughs> Me neither. But it looks really freaking fun, okay? My point is, Game-ending people isn't the worst thing we could do. Locking up hardened criminals for 60 years and keeping them trapped in solitary confinement, that is a worse fate. That is truly terrifying and shows the deep hatred all that right, lies in right, the human heart. Right. Well, they can still see their families, work, talk with people. You can't do any of that if you're dead. Wow, I wasn't expecting this much resistance. Let me just talk with the judge for a second. Hey, 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 appeal to authority. Appeal to authority. Huh? Appeal to reason. Appeal to reason. Isn't that what we're doing? Villa la France. That's what? That's from the French Revolution. Your argument makes no sense. Just like my romantic partner. All right, it doesn't, it didn't make any sense. We were out on Taco Bell and they asked me if we could pay for all of it, if, if I could pay for all of it, when we were just going for a quick snack. I shouldn't be expected to pay for all of it if it's just a quick snack and not an actual date. Come on, that's ridiculous. I'd say that's pretty uncivilized of you. You know, I don't know. You think I don't know that you and the judge over there are in cahoots? I've seen you guys talk, talking most of the time. We should have been preparing our arguments, all right? I want you guys to know, and I know you guys want to take down Tiger TV comms. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh? Nuh-uh. <laughs> ah! Huh? I'm in your head, I'm in your head, okay. <laughs> okay, I am gonna game end you, but for the purposes of FCC guidelines, I can't actually say that, and I don't want to do it on camera. I think you should chill out for a minute, bro. Take a chill pill. 
you're right. You're right. And I'm sorry. I guess losing my romantic partner due to them cheating on me had more of an effect on me than I thought I did. <sighs> yeah. It's rough, buddy. It really is. I right. feel ya. The worst part is I don't even know who they cheated with me with. Who cheated on me with. I don't even have closure. Much like the families who weren't, who were victims too, to the executed, and yet the family still live on, so there's actually really no point in killing the death penalty criminal. I win, GG, I win. You can't just say I win. I win. Okay, I fine, win. I lose. Okay. That's great, that's great. Uh, there is actually just one thing I, I, I do want to know. Oh, okay, shoot. Since you lost, what were you talking with the judge with? Oh, we were talking about how you were being cheated on. What? W really? Why do any of you care that I was being cheated on with? Well, <laughs> we were involved with it, you might say. What? You cheated on? You, you cheated on? No, not me! <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to the Not So Late Show, a show that 100% uh, deserves to remain on air, and to prove that we have a very special guest a young carpenter all the way from Nazareth. He's traveled all over the world to spread his word to all that would hear, having two dads. Before it was cool, here's tonight's special guest, Jesus Christ. Let's hey, go, come on, hey, yeah. You know who it is. Jesus you Christ. You know who it is. I know who it is. You know who it is. That's I do. Good, way. That's why you brought me on. Yeah. Need the goat. Oh, greetings. All you fine citizens of Trinity University. It, you know, it is such an honor, and you were just a huge inspiration to me growing up. I've, I've always wanted to be just like you. Uh, it's a pleasure, thank you. But don't get any job ideas, taking my job. <laughs> so Mr. Christ. Please, Mr. Christ was my father, call me. Jesus. Okay. So, uh, Jesus, how was the commute here? The commute here? Well, yeah. as you know, I'm uh, currently living in the front wall of the Trinity Chapel. So, needless to say, the commute took a while. Huh. Would you say it took uh, <laughs> three days? <laughs> yes, actually, this disguise. Oh, this dis nice university, very nice university, has horrible accessibility features. There are so many stairs I have to get up. Yeah, we get that a lot. Wait, hold, are you disabled? Of course. I've got holes in my feet. It makes walking extremely difficult. Right, well, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I, you know I've got some stuff too. Thank you. Yeah, Thank of course. You. Uh, well, let's get on to my other questions. Are you, are you and Judas still friends? Judas, of course. Eternal forgiveness and all. Sure, I died, but it turned out fine in the end. Turned out really fine in the end. I'm just a bit... I'm just a bit peeved that he sold me for only 30 silver pieces. I'm worth way more than 30 silver pieces. <laughs> uh, he's burning uh, in hell. Yeah. All right, so are you in yeah. touch with Arch Archangel Gabriel? Archangel Gabriel? Of course. The guy's an amazing guy. One of the best people there is, deserves a lot more attention. You know, I, I agree with you on there. Uh, I, I, for one, am also a really big fan of Gabriel. Now, how's your relationship with Joseph, your father? Joseph, me and my father get along well. I owe him a lot. My carpentry skills would be nothing without him. That, you know, that's great to hear. It's always nice to hear, you know, someone who has a great relationship with their father. Right. Oh, wait, hold on. Joseph wasn't Jesus' father. He was a stepfather. Jesus well, would wait, never make no, that mistake. No. That means you're... Hold on, you're not Jesus Christ. Uh, you saying I'm not Jesus Christ? <laughs> I suppose you idiots would have found out sooner or later. Oh! 
<laughs> oh, oh my, oh my Jesus. You're, you're the, you're a big fat pizza rat? I'm a big fat pizza rat. You really think Trinity, Jesus Christ would show up? He's got a secular chapel to run. Regardless, I'm not just any old big pizza rat. I'm the end of the comms department. So be way more specific. My, my name is a series of But you can call me Jesus Christ. Huh. And then the oh, and the communication part. Well, why? Why? What's up? It's only a matter of my master plan to destroy the entire university. The the whole university. The whole university. <laughs> you see, long ago, my ancient ancestors were the great plague carriers. Together, they decimated Europe and brought it to its knees. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Once they felt vindication, they moved on to new targets, and they took over everywhere. Our conquest is going to be very swell and take over. <laughs> over everything the university and i'm going to take over the europeans and everywhere everywhere this insufferable fortress will fall to the rise of the rats very very interesting well you know you don't get a lot of places about the plague rat you know but i gotta i gotta break down everything I gotta be, hundreds of my ancestors were slain by the wretched, the wretched beast that roamed the campus, like you. I'm the only one left. I mean, you, you could've just left. Shut your mouth! It is my destiny to destroy this wretched place. It is here where I have gauged my new identity, where I built that theater, I, that siren theater. I was in my house of operations. The old theater where you built the new one right over it. You built it right over it. The constructing materials crushed me. I died and my body crystallized. Oh, oh, oh. Then three days later, yes, three days later, like an old friend, I come back more than ready to destroy Trinity University. Okay, but why? Than ever. Why communications department? Why, why that? Well, I soon realized I needed to strike at the heart of the university. And what better way to do that to destroy the center of the university's optimism, where the love, the creativity, and the talent is located. The Not So Late Show, here, right here. I tried so many times to destroy the show, it was who is when I threw that brick off the tower. That was me. That was you? Giving Joey psychic powers. It was I who messed up the schedules, making Evie summon demons instead of running the Not So Late Show. It was me who ratted out Evie to the authorities. It was I who made sure Gabriel think that there was a real free vaccine. And it was I who hacked the staff emails so many times with the staff member with a heart condition that went to the haunted house. It was I I called up the aliens to Tiger TV headquarters. And it was I who made the FCC aware right now that all of the writers were AI generated. You rat. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less what you think. I've already won. What could you possibly, what could you possibly do? I'm gonna reach out and touch Faith. You want this? You want this? Yeah! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Ah! Oh! 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 Huh? <laughs> it's too late! It's too late! The entire comms department! It's on death's door! I, just a lay one filthy rat, has killed your show! And you killed a holy figure! You're getting canned food tomorrow! What do I do now? 